Hey there, I'm Ariana with CyberGeeks, where we empower internet users around the world to protect your privacy, safety, and access to free and fair information by using a VPN. Today, we're talking about our VPN Ultimate Guide and the top 10 reasons to use one. So let's start with what a VPN is. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, which basically means that you're on your own private network rather than on a public one, using what's called data encryption. Encryption is just when the data you're using is so jumbled up that no one else can make any sense of it, even if they tried. As you'd imagine, there are a ton of reasons why people would want to protect their privacy while using the internet, but there are also a bunch of other reasons why a VPN can be extremely useful, and we're going to dive into it right now. Number one, secure browsing. In recent years, online safety is receiving more and more attention, and the main players here are VPNs. When you connect to a public Wi-Fi network like a university library or your favorite cafe, your connection is exposed to everyone around you. Basically, everything you do online can be spied on, and the consequences of that can be pretty nasty. VPNs protect your data by encrypting it. A good analogy here is driving in a regular car versus driving in an armored truck. If you're in a regular car with clear windows, other drivers can look in and see how many people are in the car, their ages, what they're carrying with them, and they could break into your car pretty easily. But now let's say you're traveling in an armored truck with blacked out, bulletproof windows. No one can see anything inside of your vehicle, who's in there, anything about them, and there is no way that they are breaking into that truck you're still using all the same roads, intersections, and highways as the general public, but the difference is that your data is inaccessible, invisible, and unknowable to everyone else. A VPN is your armored truck. So any outsiders who might be trying to sneak a peek at your data, like hackers trying to steal your bank account info or your passwords or information about your family, or even less malicious parties like your internet service provider or ISP can no longer access any of your data while you're using a VPN. Yes, your ISP may be throttling your internet speeds, AKA slowing them down on purpose, and they can also track every page that you've ever visited on the web and retarget you with ads, apply geo restrictions, limiting what you can or can't access on the internet, etc. VPNs make it impossible for ISPs to throttle your speeds or collect data on your browsing habits, and we all know that you don't want anyone checking out your late night browsing history. Number two, research sensitive information safely. Building on the previous point, VPNs allow you to safely research sensitive information. For example, even if you have a stable job, it's not uncommon to look around at what the competitors might be offering. However, the upper ups at your office might catch you doing so and no one wants to have that conversation with your boss. Here's where VPNs can step in. By using a VPN, your browsing history becomes secure from being logged and tracked. VPNs are also one of the main tools used to fight censorship in authoritarian regimes. If you're living in a country where free speech is less than welcome and mass surveillance is rampaging, you can protect yourself by using a VPN. This way, the government won't be able to see your search results and you'll be protected from potential issues arising from your activity online. Number three, anonymity. I know some people still think that you're anonymous when you're online, but it's just not true. Everyone, including you, has an IP address when you browse online, and this can be used to track your location and what you're browsing. There are so many reasons why you'd wanna hide your IP, and VPNs make it easy to do that. Each VPN server has its own IP. When you connect to a VPN server, it makes you anonymous because dozens or even hundreds of other people have also connected to that same server, meaning multiple people have an IP address of that server, and it becomes essentially impossible to be backtracked. You can also hop through different VPN servers in the middle of your browsing session, consequently changing your IP address multiple times. If you're using a VPN, you can forget about the potential dangers of having your IP address exposed. Number four, complement streaming services. We are obviously living in the age of streaming services. I mean, I don't think I've turned on an actual TV channel in like five years. Something like 80% of US households are subscribed to at least one of Amazon Prime, Hulu, or Netflix, and that's just in the US. What about people in other countries who are wanting to stream endless amounts of movies and TV shows? 
The nice thing is that VPNs can definitely help give you a safer and more complete user experience when using streaming services. If you're using a VPN when watching content online, you can rest easy knowing that no one can look over your shoulder and see what kind of shows or movies that you're indulging in or even where you're watching them from. Number five, bypass web filters. People from the West, we just don't understand how awful authoritarian regimes can be. Some countries put web filters on certain websites in order to protect their people from outside information that might be deemed as dangerous to the state. Now, not only is this obviously an inconvenience issue, but we as cyber geeks think that it's just wrong to be denied access to a public website. For example, in China, over 8,000 websites are blocked from being accessed by the public. Among those are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you're watching this video, chances are you're either not from China or you're already using a VPN. Offices and educational institutions can also put on web filters on the exact same websites as China does. I mean, it kind of makes sense from a professional standpoint. No boss wants their employees to watch YouTube during their shift. Please don't do that. But let's be real for a second. Sneaking in five minutes of entertainment on your break can actually boost productivity and using Twitter or YouTube can actually help professionals research topics more quickly and more efficiently. And using a VPN allows you to bypass the filter and indulge in the forbidden fruits. By the way, if you're finding value in this video so far, let us know by clicking that like button down below. Number six, get the best prices available. Using a VPN and changing your location can even get you better prices while shopping online. See, not only brick and mortar businesses change their prices depending on the location. Many online shops do the exact same thing. From a business standpoint, it totally makes sense to charge clients from higher income countries more than those from lower income countries. This can be especially noticeable when buying plane tickets. Now, of course, higher income and lower income is just an average generalization based on your region, and not everyone who lives in the US, for example, can afford to buy expensive plane tickets. So some people choose to use their VPN to first take a virtual flight across the globe and then use that location ID to access a lower ticket price available, opening up the possibilities for travel for those who otherwise might not be able to afford it. Number seven, keep using online banks while traveling. If you're an avid traveler, you've probably been locked out of your bank account at least once. It can happen because banks sometimes see logins from foreign countries as fraud attempts. When you log into your bank account from a foreign IP address, it rings the security bell in the banking system and it can lead to a temporary block on your account. There is nothing worse than being unable to access your funds when you're traveling and VPNs can help you avoid such scenarios. Just switch to a VPN server located in your home country and you're free to log into your bank account without any worry of being locked out. Number eight, protection from malware. Malware is the worst. There are unfortunately people out there that are trying their best to get you to click on a link so that they can download malware onto your device. Luckily, good VPN services have expert security teams who maintain a long list of blacklisted websites known to host malware and help prevent you from clicking through to the danger zone. So even if you try to click on that nice image or link that may look harmless, your VPN will say stay back and save you from a massive headache. Whew. Number nine, block annoying ads. There is nothing worse than being hit in the face with those pop-up ads when you're just trying to read an article. The good news is some VPN services come bundled with an ad blocker that can save you from this struggle. If you're tired of those intrusive and malicious ads that might send you to a sketchy website, it's possible for a VPN extension to block them. With a VPN service that comes with an ad blocker, you no longer have to waste your time closing those annoying pop-ups. That's why VPNs are so popular right now. They not only make browsing safer, but they also make it more convenient. Number 10, evade ISP throttling. Now, this last one is kind of one of the dark secrets of the industry. Most providers actually throttle your internet speed, meaning they slow it down or limit the speed that you're actually paying for. There might be several reasons for why they do it, but the outcome is the same. Your internet speed is artificially limited to a certain threshold, so you're not getting the full bang for your buck. And what good are all of these other tips that I told you about if you just have to sit there watching the spinning wheel of impatience? 
Luckily, using a VPN allows you to break free from the chains of throttling and enjoy the speed of the internet that you actually signed up for. In conclusion, as you've seen, for anyone who spends time online, there are a ton of reasons why you should probably be using a VPN. In case you're looking to start using one and you don't want to deal with the limitations of a free VPN, I do have a couple that I like to recommend. First, our favorite choice in a VPN continues to be NordVPN. There are so many reasons why I love Nord, but overall, I just find it to be the best value. It has absolutely everything that I need in a VPN. It's extremely fast, which again, really matters if you're going to be streaming or gaming at all. Nord has consistently tested as having the fastest speeds out there. Plus, it's as secure as it gets and it has one of the largest selections of servers available, so you can pretty much find a server wherever you need one. It's easy to use with a pretty clean interface, but it's more customizable than other options out there. So if your security needs evolve, Nord can sort of grow with you, which is nice. It comes with pretty much all of the premium features you could ever want, a kill switch, double VPN, obfuscated servers, and this is a big one, they're one of the only VPNs out there that has a confirmed no logs policy meaning that they've been audited by a third party to prove that they're not keeping any logs of your data. There have unfortunately been issues with some other VPNs saying that they're not keeping logs, but then lo and behold, there's a leak and it turns out that some of your data was stored and could now be out there floating around the internet and we don't want that, do we? No. I also have to mention that Nord's customer service is outstanding. Whenever I've needed any kind of support or questions, the Nord team has really gone above and beyond to help out, like spending 45 minutes with me, politely testing out every single thing until we figured it out kind of service, and that is super important to me. If you'd like to give them a try, I linked NordVPN in the description down below. Like I mentioned, they're already an amazing value, but of course, we're always on the lookout for the very best deals for you guys, and we were able to score you two months free. So go check it out if that's something that you're interested in. Now, if you're interested in the best budget option, you realize that you want more than a free VPN can give you, but you also want to be spending as close to zero dollars as possible, I recommend Surfshark. It's a super solid VPN that a lot of people love for its usability. It's very user-friendly. It has this nice, simple interface, so it's really easy to navigate, even if you're new to VPNs. Its speeds are above average, not the best, but up there. And it also still has some great premium features that you'd want or need, like that kill switch, double VPN, and obfuscated servers. Where it's especially great is if you live in a large household with lots of different devices, because Surfshark offers unlimited simultaneous connections. So all the devices in your house or at your big LAN party can be protected all at the same time. And that's actually pretty rare for VPNs to offer. Most of them do have limits on how many devices you can have connected at the same time. So if saving 50 cents a month compared to another slightly better or faster VPN matters to you, it is technically cheaper. And if you don't have super complex needs, Surfshark is a great option to consider. Hey, we hope these tips were helpful, but we wanna know what you think. If you have another reason that you'd like to use a VPN, or if you have a favorite reason from our list today, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content and you wanna see more from our team, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so that you can stay up to date on all things VPNs and more. And of course, if you have any questions for us, go ahead and just ask them down below. Thanks so much, I'm Ariana, and until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and stay awesome. See you soon.